sorry. Uh, hey, MJ, it's me, Eve, of course, duh. Okay, um, I'm just gonna cut to the chase because uh, it only takes 10 minutes with this, so I have to hurry. <coughs> sorry, I'm still sick and I haven't been in the shower, so I'm apologizing for that. I am going to uh, um, take a shower and then do the tutorial, uh, but later. Uh, I just really have wanted to do this. Okay, uh, first of all, I just want to say that I'm really, really sorry to hear about that you have uh, this kind of problem uh, on top of everything else, and that I wish I was there holding you and talking to you and like talking with you and everything you'd like we did in January. Okay, um, okay. So uh, for me, it sounds like it's true emotions that and true emotions you should take seriously because. Um, uh, because you just can't, you know, like snap your fingers and then it's gone and everything. And then second of all, um, I think I already know the answer to this, but it's uh, uh, I was just wondering if, if it's true love or is it true affections. The difference with that is true affection is that you only feel the attempts of uh, just happy, having to be with that person. Uh, that you only feel that you, oh, you have to be with that person or uh, just to feel that you're close to her or whatever. And true love is kind of the thing that you told me about So uh, in that video. So I, after my opinion, it, I think it's true love. Uh, sorry. Uh, with that said, um, <coughs> if, it's true, uh, if it really is true love, then don't, uh, don't listen to what your friends are saying. That uh, just forget about her. Uh, because, uh, you, like I said, you can't just snap your fingers and it's gone. And you shouldn't just forget about a person that you actually have true feelings about uh, for. So uh, my advice is to uh, sit down with her and say that in order to forget or get through this, uh, you have to sit down and talk it out, you know. And even though it's like difficult to do this, uh, you have to get it done. And I'm sorry, you know, sorry. Um, uh, like I say, I'm really sorry that this has happened, but that uh, that is what you have to get. Uh, what you two have to do. Um, make sure that you both have really uh, like time to do this. Because uh, I have a thing that I usually do with my clients, and if they have situations or problems or whatever uh, with someone else. Um, with someone else, uh, they um, I ask them to get a bowl or or uh, caps or whatever, just something that you know you can stir up and everything. Um, and then you get a piece of paper, and then two pens or pa pencils or whatever. Then what you do is you write down, just rip off some of the papers, and then you write down just words or topics uh, of things uh, that you need to talk about. For instance, like for example, uh, you take your paper and then you write feelings. And of course, there are a lot of things you can talk about with feelings. But the thing is, you only use three to five minutes. Have a timer next to you guys and just use three to five minutes at each sub uh, like topic or subject. Okay? You promise me that. Uh, that is the task for you two. Uh, and it always seems to help because you get uh, like things to talk about out, out in the open and so you s just write down on a piece of uh, like small papers you know like you rip off and stuff and just write down what you want to talk about just the topics and then when it comes to and then you stir it around and then you both of you you just take one paper at a time and it can be something from hers or yours, or even if you, can, you both probably will write something the same. But then if it's the same, you just do it again. Because sometimes you have to t take it twice. But anyway, three to five minutes. Okay? Promise me that. So that is the task for you two. Three to five minutes with small topics that you take. It will probably take about two to three hours or more. I don't know. It's depending on how much paper you put. But don't put like thousands of stuff just put some because you have to limit you can uh, I would prefer uh, I would actually advise you to to actually uh, split it up uh, like you do uh, two hours 
one day and then you t take another two hours another day so that you can have more time you know because it, it this it sounds like a really serious problem and or situation that you need time to either just forgetting about it or just talk it out and getting through this okay so that is my task please do it and uh let me know how it goes and let her know about this video that you need advice because if she sees this she will understand really what you're going through because she, i don't think from her point of view she doesn't really know what your point of view is if you know what i'm meaning uh like uh, if you know what i mean like i don't think she really really knows how you feel and i don't think you really really know how she feels so in order to know both of you how you guys feel is to do what that task that i told you okay i, I call it uh a cup of papers uh, you know instead of cup of soup or cup of noodle or whatever so a cup of papers um it really does help i've done it plenty of times with my clients and everything so uh okay so it sounds really painful for her just to get for just to forget you because hello I, it took me like seven seven years to forget you okay so that that's another thing um so but anyway it does it does sound uh, what you're telling me at least it does sound that she's having problems just to forget about you so i think that that's why it's really smart if you guys do that task because you you will get you will go a long way with it i promise you you will go a long way because just to talk about uh things that are on the topic of that paper uh but three to five minutes only uh you will actually realize some things that you haven't really gotten to tell talk about before so that's the thing and uh, and you're not doing anything wrong i have a piece of paper where i wrote down when i was watching your video <coughs> oh sorry when i was watching your video i wrote down some stuff and you're not doing anything wrong you just uh you're not you're not doing anything wrong but you're not completely doing the things that you need to do do you understand you're not doing anything wrong but you're not doing the right things uh of course you're doing some of the right things of course you're not wrong about that uh but there are some things that you need to do in order to get to that place you want to or in order to play uh, you know you know and I, after what I've heard, I don't think she wants to forget you, and I think she wants to work it out, but in order to work it out, you need to do that thing that I told you, the task, okay? So that is my thing. And I'll probably have more advices, but I, uh, this only takes 10 minutes. So I'll probably post out another one. But at the, uh, for now, uh, my advice is do the task, sit down tell her that you need to be in a um, non-disturbance uh if i think that's a word i don't know i'm sorry about that <coughs> sorry uh, uh don't be disturbed room like in a place where you can talk freely and remember use inside voices okay don't sh don't scream don't shout and if you do have strongly uh, emotions and stuff don't just yell and everything be calm and just get it over and remember talking it out will help no violence no nothing just talking it out okay do the task just take it bits by bits okay so let me know how it goes and i love you and hoping that everything will work out Okay, two thumbs up. Love you. Okay, take care. And I miss you a lot. Okay?